My name's David Callaghan and I work for Octavia Housing. Welcome to your new Passive House home. Your home has high levels of insulation in the floors, walls and ceilings. You have triple glazing and really low air leakage doors. Most of the heat actually comes from the sun and from the occupants. We have mechanical ventilation with heat recovery which provides pre-warmed air and a central heating system as a backup if required. By following some simple guidance you can make the most of your passive house home and have really low heating bills and high levels of thermal comfort all year round. The mechanical ventilation system with heat recovery or MVHR provides fresh and clean filtered air into your living room and bedrooms and extracts stale and moist air from your kitchen and bathroom. It ensures that your home is supplied with clean and fresh filtered air and reduces moisture which can lead to condensation and damage to your property. It also keeps your home at a comfortable and consistent temperature all year round and reduces the need for your central heating system. Adjust your ventilation system according to your lifestyle. If you're on holiday for a couple of weeks, leave it on trickle. If you're having lots of people around or cooking a feast, consider putting it on boost. Most of the time your system can be left on normal. The MVHR summer bypass is automatic and cuts out the heat recovery when the temperature reaches 24 degrees. In order to keep your MVHR system working efficiently, replace the filters every three to six months. If you have a pool MVHR unit, there are three filters to change. This is really simple to do. Take off the rubber bung, take out the filter and replace with a new one. And then put the rubber bung back in. If you have a Zender MVHR unit, there are two. Take off the rubber bung, take out the filter, and replace with a new one. And then put the rubber bung back in. This is a vent cap. They are found throughout your property and are used to provide clean filtered air into your living room and bedroom and extract the stale moist air from your kitchen and bathroom. You should not touch these as it will reduce the efficiency of the system. When cooking, always use the recirculating cooker hood in conjunction with the MVHR system. This will remove oil before it goes in the MVHR system and prolong the life of your filters. Because your MVHR system provides fresh, clean filtered air, you don't actually need to open your windows. Passive house requires virtually no heating at all, as most of the heat comes from the occupants, the sun and the MVHR system, and therefore your heating system is unlikely to be used more than a few times a year. The boiler is still needed for producing hot water for showers, etc. And the solar hot water system in the houses preheats the water in the hot water cylinder before the gas boiler brings it up to temperature. Don't assume that you need to use the central heating as soon as it gets cold outside. Most passive houses don't need any radiators at all, as most of the heat is coming from the MVHR system, the people inside, and the sun. Passive houses are so well insulated that you'll lose virtually no heat at all unless you open a window or a door. Your home may be heated simply by cooking, boiling a kettle, or having some people round, so don't assume that you need to put the heating on as soon as you feel a little cold. In simple terms, Passive House is like a tea cosy, which keeps the kettle warm because of the insulation. The doors and windows in your Passive House are designed to be far more thermally efficient than regular doors and windows. Because the doors and windows are so well sealed, they allow virtually no heat to escape and also reduce the amount of noise from outside. In a passive house, you can open and close your windows whenever you want. Your MVHR system provides you with fresh, clean air, but if you find in your home too warm at any point, open a window. When closing your doors and windows, close them fully in order to achieve full air tightness and prevent warm air escaping. 
In the summertime, when your MVHR system is set to summer bypass, you can open your windows at night, especially when it's cooler outside, to bring fresh air in. The timber slatted shutters move on metal rails. By opening and closing, they reduce the amount of sunlight that comes into the room during warm periods and help to keep the property at a consistently comfortable temperature without needing to over rely on the MVHR system. So, in the summer months, close the shutters during the day to stop your home being heated up too much by the sun and then when you get back at the end of the day, you can open the shutters again. In the winter, you're likely to keep the shutters open all the time. Behind your plasterboard walls, there is a 25mm void. Behind that void, there is an air tightness membrane. This air tightness membrane is needed in order to keep your property thermally efficient. If it is broken, your annual heating bills may increase. So, if you want to hang pictures or other things on the wall, you can. Just make sure you don't go beyond 45mm through the plasterboard and use the correct fixing for the wall. In order to reduce and prevent condensation from your home, always use your MVHR system to manage fresh air coming in and humid air going out of your home, depending on what you are doing. Close the door to the bathroom after showering and use the boost button until condensation has reduced. Don't dry clothes on the radiator. Dry them in the kitchen or the bathroom so that your MVHR system can remove the moisture. Photovoltaic panels allow sunlight to be converted into electricity. This electricity can be used to power the home using an inverter. Panels serve each house individually with separate panels serving communal parts. These panels reduce the cost of electricity for each house and reduce the service charge for all homes.